I do the biking. Don't complain, you get to pull the trigger. Microwave interference transmission weapon. You think they could come up with a better name? The Zapper. Engine killer or something. Alex, we're not here to road test its name. We're just here to see if it works. What's the principle behind it? The what? You know what I mean. Is it an EMF pulse weapon? Does it fire a microfilament aerosol? Or is it one of those combustion inhibiting vapor jets? Well, it's the, uh, it's got the, uh, how do you know all that? I mean, this stuff's supposed to be code red clearance. It gets a bit boring just filing. Alex, don't tell me you read the files. Only the most secret ones. You fire it as I come past, OK? Much of an example to set Alex, is it? What happened? Mine not on the job? It was supposed to be a secure site. You weren't uh, maybe concentrating on Alex rather than uh, concentrating on security then? Beckett. Well, come on, Ed, a vehicle that size can't just disappear. And what about the registration number, eh? Listen, I'd have taken Polaroids. I was a bit busy saving Alex's life. But Alex, what's that supposed to be? You're supposed to be giving me an accurate ID of a real person, not something out of a comic strip. Beckett, I need to talk to you about Project Darkling. You better step into my office. Project Darkling? Isn't that the new satellite-based weapon system? You're not supposed to know about that. That's classified code red stuff. It's all right. She's read all the secret files. I've set up the secure access system. I better log on and get this week's code. No one else can. Hello. A package needing your signature, Mr. Beckett. Well, this better be important. Excuse me, Ross. I'm sorry to drag you down here, Mr. Beckett, but the courier insisted. Oh, thank you. I was expecting this. Thank you. Thank you, Lou. The famous Van Stratton security pass worth a trip down to the foyer. Uh, 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 I'm not meant to let anyone touch this. Van Stratton won't even talk to me without this. Let alone get in my car. You are not picking up Pieter Van Stratton in that Jeep. No, I'm not. They're laying on a huge motorcade for him. Not a fuss about nothing, if you ask me. I cannot believe you're being so blasé about this. Come on, Ros. He's only here to pick up a gong for chairing a few meetings. Beckett, he is here to receive the Ripkin Peace Prize. 
Roz, at the end of the day, it's just another politician. Oh, come on, Beckett. Think what Van Stratton's done for peace. In any case, he's not a politician, he's a businessman. He took a sabbatical from running his family's diamond business to devote himself to the peace process. Hey, Roz, I never realised you were such a fan. Well, I am. What about the Ripkin Prize ceremony itself? Can't you at least get me into that? I'm sorry, Roz. These tickets, they're like gold dust, you know. I've only got one because I'm Jan's security liaison. I guess there's some things that, well, even money can't buy. Hello? Becky does the pass. It worked. It was completely taken in. Thank you, Chen Love. I have the signal. Wherever Mr. Beckett goes, we'll know where to find him. Good morning. Good morning, Beckett. Very nice. Receiving the Ripkin Prize is, of course, a great honour for Van Stratton, but... But that's not the main reason he's flown here today. I didn't think we'd be involved if all he was doing here was picking up some tin cup. The real reason Van Stratton's here is the Vigiers Peace Talks. Vigiers? I thought the Peace Talks stalled. Passes, please. The media was fed disinformation. After Marius Trozik pulled out, there was a breakthrough. Van Stratton will sit down tonight with the leaders of the ethnic enclaves and finalise the settlement. Well, if he can stop those fanatics killing each other, now that really is worth a medal. The signing will take place immediately before the award ceremony, and Van Stratton will make a public announcement of it in his speech of thanks. And I'm here to babysit for him until this evening. If anything happens to Van Stratton before that treaty is signed, you'll have the blood of Eastern Europe on your hands. Welcome to Britain, Mr. Van Stratton. Thank you very much. If you'd like to come this way, we have a car and escort waiting for you. This is hardly one I call low key. Better safe than sorry. Well, I don't like it. Mr. Van Stratton, my name's Nicholas Beckett. I've been assigned to look after you for the day. I've just learned the real reason for your visit. May I suggest we travel rather less ostentatiously? Beckett, there is no other transport. Yes, there is. Beckett, no. Is that your off roader? Yes, sir. Well, that's fine by me. Seeing the inside of too many limousines. Good. This will also amuse a friend of mine. Don't worry. We're calling it the Mark II. So what are the changes apart from the colour? Be honest. Well, none. <laughs> but buyers like to think they've got something before anyone else. It helped clinch the Australasian deal. No. So where do I sign? If you can get away early this evening, there's somewhere rather special I'd like to take you. Oh, the Ripkin Prize Channing. Oh, Channing, I cannot believe you managed to get me an invite. Old man Ripkin was a good friend of my father's. Beckett will fall over when he sees me there. So, what's the price? Of what? Of this invitation, you can't get these for love and the money, so you must want something. Me? No, not at all. Well, OK, the techno venture show is at the end of the month. I told you, no publicity, no trade shows. A personal appearance to launch the Mark II would do wonders for the marketing. No way, I want to keep a low profile. It's in Barbados this year. So? I'll be there too. So? And I've got tickets for the cricket. The first test? Mm -hmm. Why didn't you say so, book the flights? Will there be a problem with Beckett? I mean, about getting away. <laughs> you leave Beckett to me.
don't know how we managed before they invented those. During the negotiations, alliances changed so fast, they used this to keep track of all the factions and groupings. How did you manage to get the breakthrough? Humiliation, frankly. The main obstacle to agreement was a man named Trozek. I managed to destroy his argument so completely that he was forced out of the negotiations. I thought the golden rule of negotiation was never to humiliate the participants. It is. I'm not proud of what I did, but in this case, the end justified the means. Didn't your boss tell you about it? Jan? <laughs> Such an innocent code name. Yes, Jan supplied us with the information to discredit Trozek. True information. Who can tell? It achieved its end. The engine's just gone dead. Guys. Try not to breathe it in. What kind of operation are we running? We've lost a major new weapon, the Bureau Chief, and the man who holds the future piece of Europe in his hands. Hey, that's one of the men who attacked me and Alex. At least we know the engine killer works. He's called Trozek. I'm convinced he's the man behind this situation, and I have every reason to believe that he wants Van Stratton dead. But we're talking about a kidnapping, not an assassination. So far. You seem to know an awful lot about this... Trozek. Thank heavens one of us is well briefed. Quine. He seems to know an awful lot about us, too. Regrettably, yes. That makes our task a little harder. I'm taking personal control of operations until the crisis is resolved. Find them, and no more mistakes. <clears throat> I'm sorry I got you into this mess. It's all right. My orders were to stay close to you. Trozek. It was a mistake to do what I did. I handled you wrongly. You humiliated me in front of my own people by feeding them lies. Everything I did was in the cause of peace. <laughs> Your peace plan will deny us what we've rightfully earned. Oh, come on. Nobody rightfully earns anything with a gun in their hands. Handmade suits. Tailored shirts, gold watch. How were these earned? You know the right people. You move in the right circles. The rest of us have to scrape our lives out of nothing, then fight to defend what little we have until someone like you jets in and tells us how we should live. You mean you've kidnapped me for my jewelry? I could kidnap anybody for their jewelry, but there's only one Peter Van Stratton. What have you kidnapped us for? Is this revenge for being excluded from the peace talks? You'll find out. General Chenloff, what are you doing so far from the battlefield? This is the battlefield. I'm here to end the war my way.
chin, love. He's wanted for war crimes, isn't he? They are supposed to be good at getting out of situations like this. What do you suggest? Have you still got your electronic organizer? Yeah. There's something coming in on a government access feed, Alex. Firstly, let me assure you that Mr. Van Stratton is alive and well. Is your new automatic tracing system online? Triggering. My name is Bob. No. My demands are quite simple. Ten million pounds for the return of Mr. Van Stratton. You have 24 hours to comply. He's not mentioning Nick. Do you think he's all right? Nick? Or Beckett? No, he's a survivor. We demand the right to sovereignty. Can you speed it up? Looks like he's bouncing the signal off several transmitters to throw us off. It'll take time for the system to backtrack. Let's hope he's chatty. Note them carefully. One carefully placed bullet, and the great peacemaker will find his own final peace. Any trickery, and he dies now. Don't worry, Alex. We'll get Beckett back. Just don't call him Nick to his face. Only Ross can get away with that kind of thing. No extensions. No negotiating. The clock is ticking. We're getting there. Goodbye. Take the camera through. Show them the hostage. Good. They're staying online. For goodness sake, hurry! Oh my God. This Van Strat. Where's Beckett? Is he there too? Ross, who's that operating the camera? There, look, I can see him in the door. Hang on, that's the other guy who stole the engine killer. Let's see if we can match our amateur cameraman with something else. I got this from security. It's the courier who gave Becky a special pass. Well, at least our security cameras are useful for something. There's Beckett collecting the pass. It's getting closer. They must have intercepted the courier and bugged the pass. Yeah. I'm sure it's the same man. Does your briefing extend to this one's name too, Jan? General Chenlov. He's the real power in Trezek's party. All he understands is killing. I admire your persistence, but that's going to take a long time to get us out. Someone's coming. Feel like you're worth ten million pounds, Mr. Van Stratton. The Bureau will now be wasting all sorts of manpower staking out ransom drop sites. Easy to occupy the authorities if you put your mind to it. There's an ironclad policy on paying extortion to terrorists. Oh, I know, Mr. Beckett. Ten million pounds. Petty cash to a government, but a fortune beyond the wildest dream of most men. It's a shame I won't get it. This isn't about money. What is it you want? You, Mr. Beckett. Project Darkling. Project Darkling? I desire to communicate with the satellite. As Bureau Chief, you have the communication access code. Are you aware, Mr. Van Stratton, that at the same time Mr. Beckett was detailed to escort you to the peace conference, his employers sent a new military satellite into space, one that controls multi-warhead missile launchers capable of mass destruction? Ironic, isn't it? I live with such ironies every day. Unfortunately, the new satellite has a safety catch on it. But if I take the safety catch off and aim those missiles at my enemies in Vegas, you will have the victory. It will end the war for good more quickly than your peace treaty. But millions would die, civilians as well as soldiers. It's war. Blood flows. Now give me the Project Darkling access code before I get impatient. Go on, shoot. You still won't have the code. My, what a brave little bureaucrat. Capturing you both was a strategic decision. 
the access code, Mr. Beckett. This is the last time I ask. I'm going to count to five. One. Let it kill me, Beckett. This is what he really wants. Revenge on me for humiliating them. Oh, I want revenge. But killing you won't be nearly enough. Two. You can't just fire the missiles. There's programming involved. Targeting, deployment. Three. I'm quite prepared to die to stop this man. Four. All right. I'll tell you everything you need to know. Start talking. Package for you from a genuine courier. Mm, thanks. It's an odd time to be taking a holiday, isn't it? Oh, they're from Channing. He wants me to spend a long weekend with him in Barbados. All right. At an electronics trade show. Ah. Purely business. <clears throat> Let's have another look at this. Ross, can we just check out that last bit again? Yeah. What's that? Stop. The outside world through the window. I think I can improve on that. Where the hell are they? What's that in the background? Are we zoom in any closer? That's a microwave tower. It certainly is, but which one? Well, there aren't that many, are there? Well, 25 and 100 mile radius, but no two are identical. I'll cross-reference the aerial patterns. In the meantime, we ought to head southwest. What? They're driving straight into strong sunlight. We know where the sun was when the recording was made. They were heading southwest. Ah, oh, good one. Great. Let's get going. Ah, uh, correction there, though. I'll get going. You are staying right here. Don't complain. You get to tell him where to go, literally. We'll work out where they are, and you can guide him in. Got it. Nick! I mean, Rose, it's the chief. Location unknown. Ransom demand a diversion. Kidnapper wants... Darkling? Project Darkling, the satellite missile system. If it's such a secret, how did they know about it? I hope you don't think that... I only glanced at the files. I mean, just filing them got boring. It's OK. Beckett told me how you defended the archive when he tried to sneak in there. Come on, let's print out a message to Beckett. Ed, on your trail, be ready. Trozek needs more than just the code, doesn't he? Yeah, he needs to verify it. That's why we're still alive? Probably. We don't have long. The satellite soon be in range. All these uplinks look the same to me. Hey, Roz, how's it going? Any useful coordinates yet? I've eliminated all but two of the towers. I'm just coming up to the last one now. Don, you can do it, Roz. We're approaching the communications window with the satellite. Why is it good only every 90 minutes? That's no, a very low orbit satellite. We can only communicate with it when it's above the horizon. Bingo. Ed, we've located the tower and I've worked out the speed of their van. They're about six miles ahead of you. You shouldn't have done it, Beckett. One life compared to thousands, millions. It's a bad trade. The way I see it, sir, while you're still alive, those for peace are still alive. In my book, that's a good trade. I bet there's a storage area behind here. Maybe something we can use to get out of here. Beckett might have lied about the code. If he did, you start putting holes in Mr. Van Stratton. Well, I suspect Beckett knows that, and he told us the truth. Which means I shall be able to kill them both. 
very soon. Well, what do you know, the engine killer? Thirty seconds to go. No doubt about it. I've got to stick to bikes. Forget about cars. Yeah, well, you wouldn't have got me, Van Stratton, and the engine killer on the back of the bike, would you? Fair enough. One recovery out of three, not a great score. Yeah, well, if you hadn't lost the engine killer in the first place, Ed... Oh, don't get on it. Me? You led him straight to Van Stratton? I did? Yes! Let's not argue, Ed. All right, we need to get back to the Bureau. We've got to lock Trozek out before he accesses Darkling. Lose all your leverage. When we confirm the access code, we won't need any leverage. We'll have to try again at the next alignment. Roz, I think I've got something. I've been checking our security cameras from this morning when they delivered the bug security pass. Oh, we know he's phony, that's ancient history. Well, look at this. He's dialing a number, but I can't see what it is. Well, what you need to do to zoom in, select, enhance, digitize. There you go. Yes. He's calling a cell phone. That's promising. Why? Cell phones are notoriously easy to tap, but, well, I've got a trick I've been wanting to try out. I'm going to dial the number he called. If someone picks up, I'll send a signal down the line, forcing the circuit open, which hopefully will turn the phone into a sort of mic, even after it's switched off. Is there anything you can't bug? You were worried about Beckett, weren't you? Well, I... It's OK. Just don't let your feelings get in the way of the work, that's all. to unsettle you. <laughs> Mind games. I've never had much time for psychological warfare. Have you repaired the equipment? Yes. We'll have a communication alignment with the satellite very soon. That's fantastic. Just basic physics, I'm afraid. Becca, did you know, um... Did you know Ros was planning a long weekend in Barbados? Um, 
with chatting. I thought that relationship was purely business. But their cell phone. We've got to access Darkling ourselves, shut them out. It might be too late. Now for Mr. Beckett's code. Yes! Did it work? My faith in humanity is renewed. I'll begin loading the launch sequence subsets and the targeting coordinates. In. Not while they're still in the system. When shall I program the missiles to launch? Tonight, of course. We shall destroy our enemies at the exact time that Mr. Van Stratton's precious treaty is supposed to be signed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Now what? They changed the security code, shut us out completely. It's done. We control Darkling now. Well, they don't need Van Stratton anymore. Then we've got to find a way to keep Van Stratton alive. Beckett, we are not in the business of stealing diamonds. I cannot authorize this. Then you're condemning Van Stratton to death. We're only pretending to steal the diamonds. We have to convince Trozek that Van Stratton is worth more alive. Explain. We know something of the way that Trozek's mind works. He wants more. He would have loved to have picked up that ransom. He is devoted to his cause, but he's also greedy. So we've got to convince him that keeping Van Stratton around will make him money. Van Stratton himself has to be the key to the money, and he is. His family business controls a major share of the world diamond trade. In his London office, they have gems with a fortune. Now, last year, they installed a new security system based on the Iris Ident. Yes, you put your eye up to the reader if it recognises you're in. In fact, Ros checked the system for them. Van Stratton has been Iris ID'd. He can access any part of the building. So we convinced Trozek that by keeping Van Stratton alive, he can fill his pockets full of diamonds. Can you do this? This is the International Police Database. Now, if we borrow the identity of a real criminal, that'll give us a way into Trozek. Okay. Do it. I'll clear the way at Van Stratton's. Now, which do you think's most suitable for the plan? What about this one here? Shelley Lammers. Burglary, armed robbery, computer fraud. Looks very unsavory. It was just like you, Ros. Thank you. My new identity. You're not serious. Watch and learn. Ros is full of surprises. Mr. Trozek, listen very closely. I'm only going to say this once. We both know the government's never going to pay the ransom you've demanded, but I know a way you can make a lot more money using your hostage. Who is this? How did you get my... We don't have time for that now. We're on a completely secure line. My name is Shelley Lammers. I have no interest whatsoever in your political aims. I have a proposition for you. The fact that I found you should tell you I have connections everywhere, and if you check my reputation, you'll see I only play for very high stakes. Assuming you're on the level, what is it you're proposing? Pieter van Stratton heads one of the biggest diamond brokers in the world. Now, using him, you and I can waltz in there like we had a master key. If this is true, why should I cut you in at all? I have Mr. Van Stratton. Because there are one or two things about the Van Stratton company that I know, and you don't. This is my job, after all. But put us all together, and we walk away with a very clean score. No, this is a diversion from our purpose. Our aim is power, not wealth. We have time to achieve both. Oh, there's a place we can meet. One hour.
I'm feeling generous, Mr. Vanstrap. I've worked very hard on this mission, and it turns out there may be a little bonus attached to it. What? I've just heard about your company. Most interesting. So you have kidnapped me for my jewelry, then? Don't scoff. It means you get to live for a little while longer. Keep Van Stratton under guard to the last possible moment. I'll come straight to the point. I can net us a quarter of a billion apiece. Diamonds. Hard currency in anyone's language. I'm not a thief. I'm a politician seeking self-determination for my people. That's very noble. But I'm sure you and your people could use the loot. Why is Van Stratton so crucial to this? The Iris Ident security system, it's foolproof. People are identified by the irises of their eyes. They're as individual as fingerprints. You can't duplicate them, steal them, counterfeit them. And what if he was dead? Why couldn't I just hold up a picture of his eyes? The machine can tell dead eyes from living eyes, same as you and me. Blood going to them, filament count to the aqueous humor, luminosity, XY reflectiveness. Have we got a deal? We must be quick about this. Just need the man with the eyes. Okay. Stay down here. Keep out of sight. Your part's very simple. As soon as I give you the signal, I want you to throw this switch. That'll cut the power to the lift. Do you understand? Okay, no problem. Okay, maintain radio silence until then. Radio silence, okay. Ed. They're here. I've got the van in my sights as well. That's all mine. We've got to stop them launching those missiles, OK? Radio silence. Starts now. Aren't you going to miss your rendezvous with Darkling? I've pre-programmed my system. When the time comes, I'll be able to launch the missiles from wherever I choose. Any surprises? And this will be doing the negotiating. Easy. You're about to become a very rich man. Mr. Van Stratton. Sorry to disappoint you, but I will not be a party to this. Oh, I've had enough of this. This is not worth dying for. You more than anyone should know that. Scanning. Van Stratton. Authorization confirmed. After you. <laughs> Never know when you might want to make a quick exit.
Bureau people. Beckett, you got another one coming your way. We've got things covered in here. Just make sure you close down that missile system. to have you back, sir. The blindness is temporary, I assure you. The woman jewel thief. She's on our side. Trusik? He'll be held in the lift between floors if we cut the power. Beckett, the lift's still moving down. Alex? Alex! Missiles. I've got someone in the van now, shutting down the system. But Trozek's got a remote trigger. He can set them off from anywhere. Ed, have you got that missile system shut down yet? No can do, Beckett. Trozek's got the whole system completely locked off. There's less than two minutes to go. Alex, Ross, forget the power button. Get the remote trigger from Trozek. It's the only thing which will control the missiles. than she looks, isn't she? Wait a minute. I said we should never have done this. The money was a distraction. Greed has no part in the society we're fighting for. The satellite will be in position in seconds. We can complete the mission from wherever we choose. And we collect a reward. This is not what we came here to do. I won't let you be diverted. I'll say you died a hero. The diamonds will pay for a statue. anyone thought. What about the remote trigger? 
Did it stop the remote trigger? With a vengeance. I'm sorry to rush you, sir, but there's a treaty signing I need to get. Uh, perhaps you can let me thank your team some other time. Like the Ripkin Prize ceremony. Shame there are no tickets available. I already have one. Channing got it for me. Channing? Beckett, that reminds me. I need to talk to you about some leave. Uh, not now, Roz. Beckett, I think you better make a move, mate. Yeah. If you ask me, mate, we've jumped on board a leaky ship. What? Well, they stole the engine killer. They bugged your past, knew all about Darkling. What, you think we've got a mole? Alex? Jan? Oh, listen, mate, she's got another agenda. She makes her own rules. Oh, come on, Ed, you're being totally paranoid. She's just an ambitious civil servant. You've just got to know how to handle her, that's all. No, and you do, I suppose. Yes, that's right, I do. Yeah. Trust me. We could run rings around her blindfold. Hey, come on, Ed. We're a good team, mate. It's going to take more than a Jan to mess us about. <laughs> Guys, thanks for looking after the place while I'm away. Try not to break any of my toys. <laughs> No worries, Roz. We should be getting to the airport. Not everyone drives like you. <laughs> Thank you so lucky to be driven by me, Chad. And have a good one. I hope you've arranged something decent for me to drive when we land. Oh, and uh, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Hey, this is purely business. But of course, it is Barbados. See ya.